So we're on the cusp of the fourth ever having event happens quadrennially, if that's the word. Every four years we have a having event, and it means massive volatility in crypto, especially Bitcoin, which is the tide that rises and brings all ships up. Everything happens on the back of Bitcoin, and the more time goes on, the more of a Bitcoin maximalist I become. So, one of the things people that are getting into crypto and Bitcoin especially are going to be trying to deal with is how can I actually get a lump sum of my shitty fiat traded away for finite Bitcoin? So say you have like a thousand dollars or a thousand quid or five thousand dollars, ten thousand, whatever, any medium slash large amount, first thing you're going to be worried about is how do you get your money onto an exchange that is willing to take your money for as cheaply as possible. And so far, the cheapest way I've found to do that is to use something like Kraken. I think Coinbase takes a fee of like 1.5% or something. I might be wrong, but I remember that when I tried to deposit money to, onto Coinbase years ago, they immediately just took money from me just for accepting the deposit. So that's a massive amount of, like, see if you were to have been holding or accumulating Bitcoin for the past, like, five years and using Coinbase to do it, you would have, just because of the fees for depositing of, like, 1.5%, let's say you'd saved up a whole Bitcoin after five years, you should have already hit 1.015 Bitcoin, like, you should have another 0.02 Bitcoin almost at this point. That 1% or 2% adds up, and as Bitcoin goes exponential like see if you'd bought bitcoin in 2017 for like four thousand dollars or three thousand dollars that would now be worth like sixty seven thousand dollars that 1.5 percent of four thousand dollars would have been let's figure out it would be over a thousand or it'd be nearly two thousand something like that like you want to avoid especially if you're going to be holding long term you want to avoid all of these overhead fees of just a flat one percent or two percent or whatever you want to get the lowest possible fees to deposit to buy and to withdraw so if you use something like kraken and played i'll just show us a preview of this all right so i'm picking pounds i'm picking easy bank transfer authorize a fast and free transfer from your bank account using played zero to three business days but it usually happens within about five or ten minutes no fee and up to 80 grand so you click this you pick your bank uh, you choose See, NatWest, they stopped accepting this. They would accept these payments for a while with Played on Kraken, but then they blocked one of my requests. They don't even let me do what I want with my own money. Any bank that doesn't let you do what you want with your own money is fucking worthless. It's one thing if they have a fraud detection and they want to confirm that you intend to do this, but if they know that you intend to do something and they don't let you do it, that's a piece of shit bank. That is just screaming... Get your money out of fiat and out of the banks, get it into something like Bitcoin, that's what that tells me. So you have First Direct, HSBC, Halifax, Lloyds, Nationwide, TSB, uh, Tide, that's one of those mobile apps. Uh, Yorkshire Bone Society have good savings accounts, I've heard. Ulster Bank is also along with RBS and West. Don't know what Smile is. Santander, I could try them. Like, that's the thing. As it stands, you're going to just be going through banks. Like, you'll, you'll use one, and it's going to block it. You'll try another one, it'll work for a while, and it'll block it. You have to just keep trying. Don't give up on getting a bank account. Like, you should have banks, bank accounts with pretty much every high street bank, just in case stuff like this happens, so you can shift your money around and actually get it to work. Because they're all acting like pricks and stopping you from doing what you want. So, like, right now, I've got RBS working. That way I stopped working, RBS works. So, there we go. It's selected, played... And then let's just do 10, 10 quid, right? And then it's going to give you your details and then you confirm it and then you go through the app. So that would let me deposit for free onto Kraken. I would get every single penny of my money out of my bank account into Kraken with Played. And then once you've done that, you buy with a limit order on the market. So wait for a dip, buy. That's a pretty safe way to do it. But really you should... I would recommend if you don't have any Bitcoin to just buy at the current market. If you're going to try, like, see if you want to be opportunistic, you would wait for Bitcoin to have one of these spikes down. Like, see this? I bought down here. See it? I bought there. You buy here, or, like, I waited until I knew it wasn't going to go down even lower and I bought 
and then back there I bought here when I went down. So it's like I'm trying to buy dips and I'm getting a decent average. And I expect it will recover well above my buy-in price. Like, see if I bought here when it, when it wasn't dipping, I would be way under right now. But because I waited for dips and bought in, and it's slowly recovering, I'm getting a better average. Like, if you just are a little bit patient, you can usually manage it. You can usually get lower than the running average. Which is what you'd expect, it's not surprising. Yeah, so as you can see, I've been buying dips here. So I bought here, at around there. I bought there. I bought there, I bought there. So I'm just buying chunks of Bitcoin when there's dips. And as you can see, I've been in the black for most of this. And this is a quite stagnant market as well. This is just strategy I'm describing at the moment. This is not the point. But all right, so you buy and you pay uh where's the fees? All right, so here's a transaction I did for 100 quid, right? So I paid 100 pounds. The fee was 16 pence, so that was a 0.16% fee, which is acceptable. I would take that, I would take a 0.16% fee. That is not extortionate. That's what you want, that, that's the kind of fees that you want to be paying, fractions of a percent. You don't want to be paying Coinbase's, what is it, 1.5% or 0.5%. Or, or this is how you, so, so far, I've managed to convert my fee into Bitcoin with a 0.16% fee. I think the fee might have went up to 0.26%. I've read that. Yeah, the fee here is £2.5 on this one. So they've raised the fee recently, but it's still close to the 0.16% it was at for a while there. So you can do way better than Coinbase. You can do way better than these exchanges that charge you 1% or 2% or 5%. Like, see, on Coinbase, I would already be down 5%. I would have 5% less Bitcoin for my money. It's basically a 5% premium you're paying to get this, the, the same amount of spot Bitcoin and it's still on an exchange. You haven't even gotten off of an exchange yet and this is where the fees get really annoying of course because you're dealing with Bitcoin's blockchain. So when you're withdrawing on the blockchain that entails minor fees. So you set the price and that determines the priority of the transaction and right now if you want it to be done in about an hour or three hours, you're paying somewhere between two pounds and three, two, two dollars and three dollars, something like that. Or if you want to wait about 24 hours, you pay 72 cents. So that's getting to be more like it. So if you were to have bought a thousand dollars worth of Bitcoin, on Kraken you would have paid 2.5 dollars so far, assuming that you deposited it for free with something like played. So to get the Bitcoin you've only paid 2.5 dollars, and then on top of that you're paying 72 cents to withdraw it in 24 hours. So you're only paying about $3 out of 1000 or 0.3% so far to get off. But the thing is, when you go to withdraw from Kraken and Bitcoin, withdraw. Alright, so I'm, I'm going to withdraw, I'm picking Bitcoin. I'm selecting to do it on the actual Bitcoin network. 0 0.04. Alright, so there, I'm withdrawing 0 point, or 0 0.001. Alright, so that's 50 quid. And I'm going to put an address here. Gonna call it this. So if I was to withdraw this, the fee would be to withdraw fifty quid, it would be ten pounds. That's the current Kraken withdrawal fee on chain for Bitcoin. Ten pounds thirty six pence. That's terrible. So if you were to withdraw a thousand pounds, you'd be paying one percent right there. If you withdrew a hundred pounds, you'd be paying ten percent. Ten percent of your money gone and you've already eaten what is it? 0.25% so it's starting to just add up horribly but there is a way around this there's no way around you can't you can't set the fee on Kraken you're stuck paying £10 to withdraw Bitcoin from the exchange on chain that sucks that's terrible so what you have to do is withdraw Bitcoin and it allows you to select the network and I'm picking lightning no fee but the thing is, this is not an on-chain transaction, so we need to withdraw it to somewhere that lets us send an on-chain transaction with picking our own fee, because we don't need it to to happen within the next 45 minutes. We can actually figure it out. So if we spend... Well, let's assume that the, the amount of money we take as a fee is what they're using. So if it's £10, it would probably be something like... 
a hundred sats per VB. It should happen within ten minutes if you do that. So you're not even getting the speed of the transaction you pay for. So you are being gouged by Kraken. It looks like to do this transaction. So at all, you should never use this wherever you can. Use lightning. But where do you send it to with lightning? All right. I'm gonna use lightning, and a. I'm gonna use something called Moon. So. I'm gonna start recording on my phone now. Alright, so I'm gonna go into my Moon wallet now. Alright, so here's my Moon wallet. I have no balance, so I'm gonna click Receive and Lightning. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change it to Satoshi's and I'm gonna do 10,000. So it's gonna be the same transaction I did to test. So that's coming out at about £5, right? So this is an amount that would usually just be totally eaten up by fees. So I'm going to confirm the amount, copy the invoice, paste it onto Discord in a channel that I have for this stuff. And then I'm going to post it in here. Preview, withdrawal, confirm in my emails, and Confirm address. I just click the button and then Kraken opens up a new tab. Successful address approval. The address is now ready to be used for withdrawals. Confirm withdrawal. Done. And within seconds, yeah, within seconds I've got it in my Moon Wallet. So now I can choose to send this shit. So now that it's in my Moon Wallet as Lightning, so this is like a pseudo Bitcoin, this is not actual Bitcoin, this is like a Bitcoin IOU. So I don't want to have my crypto on Kraken, but I even more don't want to have my crypto held as Lightning, so I would want to do this quickly. So you send Bitcoin, you paste the address, and convert to Satoshi's and 10,000 again. So I'm confirming the amount, my sats, my satoshis. So I'm choosing the network fee now, this is what I want, this is the whole point in this. So I can pick £4 in less than 30 minutes, so I'm already beating Kraken's estimation. I'm paying less than half what Kraken charged to have an even higher prioritised transaction apparently. Or I can do 17 hours for £1.60, or I can do less than 4 or 6 hours at 7 sats per vbyte. So I'll check the mempool. They're purging below 4 sats per vbyte. 10 has no priority. Bitcoin fees, 9 or 10 is estimated at a day. 11 or 12 is estimated at a day. I'm going to try 7 and if it gets bounced I don't care. Transaction may take days to confirm. 6, 5, I can go down as low as 5, but it threatens rejection. So I can do 6, and that'll be 53 pence. And it might take days to do this. Or it could take weeks. It could just stay pending until it eventually goes through. Or it could get... See when it says here, it's rejecting transactions. I think this means that it could get purged from the mempool. Purging below 4 sats, so... That's what it estimates with a high degree of probability. Maybe this app is just being extremely conservative and saying 5. 5 is our risk. So I'm going to just do 6, right? Because it's only, what, 9 pence difference? That's acceptable. So I'll do that, and it says it'll take less than 85 hours. 85 hours, 46 hours, 31 hours, 19 hours. I'm only sending 5 quid. So, that money is not going to earn me 9 pence or whatever, so I'll just do 6. So I'm I'm being in a an environment with relatively high fees, low priority 36 sats, medium priority 38. So it's around 36 to 40 sats. In a 36 to 40 sats environment for the miners, I can submit a transaction for 6 sats per V-byte, 53 pence, instead of $3.00. $3.50 is what you would pay to get this done, probably in about an hour or two. 
but I'm willing to wait hours or even days because I'm sending this cold to cold storage. See if you were sending like a thousand or two thousand, I think you'd maybe want to just up it a bit to th to I don't know, maybe like fifteen or twenty. Let's see. All right, fifteen, fifteen, one pound thirty-two, seventeen hours. I'd probably be comfortable with that. Twenty, twenty-five for nine hours. Thirty-five for six hours. Forty, four hours. Fifty, thirteen minutes. Four pounds forty-one for thirteen minutes. You could do that if you wanted, but I would probably just do like twenty-five or something for like a thousand dollars or a thousand quid. But for this, I'm gonna just do fifty-three pence to make the point. This might get rejected from the mempool, but if it is, I don't care. I'm sending like a fiver and I'm getting charged 10% of it on the chain. And this could work. If it doesn't, I just wait until some other time and do it when the network's less busy. But yeah, this is how you do it. I can, you can avoid paying $10. And also I think what I said about uh, the, the the taker fees. Taker fees, I mean, I mean the maker fees for, for a limit order to actually buy the Bitcoin is only 0.26%. Depositing is free. And then if you send it for 50 cents for every $1,000, that's 0.5%. Yeah, that's £2.50 plus about 50 pence, three, three pounds to buy. So in order to translate your fiat into Bitcoin at a quantity of $1,000 or £1,000, you're only paying 0.3% to do everything to get it. To get it into Bitcoin, to get onto the exchange first of all, to change it into Bitcoin and to withdraw it on chain, you're conceivably only spending 0.3%. And like I said, Coinbase would have charged like 1.5% just to get your fiat currency onto their exchange and be liquid and be able to transact. So alright, let's send this. So this has been sent. I'm now going to have... A record of this. Yeah. So now I've done two transactions that are both unconfirmed. The first one I did just as a test. This one I'm doing to show it and document it. And make a video showing it. This is really important. This took me a while to figure out. Moon Wallet works for now. Which is good. It may not work in the future. I don't think it's even a true lightning wallet. I think it uses something called submarine swaps. But functionally it does everything I need. These transactions will be on the chain. Hang on, I'll prove this. Alright, so I can look up the transaction, sent to address, transaction ID, copy to clipboard. Here I'm on Block Explorer and I search up the transaction and there it is on the chain that's awaiting. $6.44 to $5.78 and this was, there's the fee that I just did in Moon which is supposed to be a lightning wallet and I only paid 66 cents to request this and it's 1 minute 30 seconds old broadcasted on the Bitcoin network April 14th 8am GMT plus 1 yeah, unconfirmed but it will eventually be confirmed, and if not, I'll get a full refund and I can attempt it again with a higher fee. I can just keep trying, there's almost no risk. But this is it. This solves the problem. At least for now, unless something changes. Like, Kraken might start charging to deposit. Plaid might start charging to deposit. Kraken might increase their maker fees. And you might have to pay a bigger chunk. It might eventually go the way of uh, Coinbase and become really bad. But yeah, this works. This does everything I need it to. Thankfully, I'm relieved. Hope this helps. Also, just while we're here, I'd like to point out that my video that says hodling on exchanges isn't worth it and Nexo blocked me on Twitter for saying it, that was uploaded on July the 5th, 2022. FTX filed for bankruptcy three months after this video went uploaded. was uploaded. BlockFi just filed for bankruptcy four months after the video. So... I said in July of 2022 that hold, hodling on exchanges is not worth it. You want to have your own custody. And then FTX and BlockFi both went down. Yeah, don't hold large sums of Bitcoin, especially on exchanges. Get it under your own custody and your own hands. Not your keys, not your crypto. The golden rule. Vindicated by the mass bankruptcy events of 2022. 
Hope this helps. Buy Bitcoin, store on a cold wallet.